Hello everybody, this is me, uh, Qua. Today we'll be reviewing the Magic Square uh, metallic version of their Megatron. And here he is. And uh, yeah, I got some things to go find. These panels on the legs just don't want to hold. Um, kind of sucks, but gun mode looks good otherwise. Um, it's a pain he has to go from robot to gun mode, if I'm being honest. But um, I forget whose review it was. I, uh, oh, it was Dr. Lockdown's review. Well, I do agree with him that New Age typically does do the more elegant transformations. I do disagree with him about how third-party Legends stuff not being... Because uh, he was talking about how they are very much more like play factor rather than uh, for display-orientated collectors. And I'm just going to have to say this right the fuck now. With the quality of paints that they use here... And the, whether it's Magic Square or or um, what's it called? Fucking New Age. Um, I can't really say per se to uh, Iron Factory or um, there's another one or yeah. The, I'm not counting Doctor Wu's little things in there because those those are definitely more of a play factor thing. But I don't really count those because those are even fucking smaller and that. It's a, that, that's a whole other thing. But, uh, in the same common scales, you get, uh, not really a whole lot other than those two, or those three, I should say, uh, kind of factoring in, at least as of right now. But, uh, yeah, um, because I will argue all third party is either upgrade kits to enhance in a figure you already have i.e. like a lot of the perfect effect stuff from back in the day and dna designs stuff like that is it yes yeah yeah and then um or or like snd's older kits and then um shit like that or it's your third party masterpiece and I would lump in Legend Scale with that too because they have a very similar thing. They're going for the collectors. They ain't going for the common people who just buy the Transformer on a retail shelf and stuff like that. And it's a different type of collector they're going for. They're not going for the same collectors that collect like the fucking Legion class figures from back in the day or the old school Legend class. Um, I forget when they changed the name to Legion. And then it was changed to, I think it was like like Cyberverse or something like that. They were called during Prime. I guess switch back to Legends, I think. A little later. But that's, that's a whole rabbit hole to go through. But my point is, I view Legends as very display orientated. Granted, New Age does have more of a play factor than Match Score does. But that's just a difference in design philosophies. And I, while the transformation was kind of frustrating on this... It's mainly the leg section. There was a part that if I had figured that out, because it wasn't clear. I I think this boils down to the extractions not being clear on this. Um, for me, because there was a part where it didn't explain to rotate the thigh and not the leg, and that literally gives you the clearance you need for everything for the legs. If I had figured that out much sooner. It took me watching a review of somebody doing this to like be like, oh, that's what that is. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, if it wasn't for that, I could have avoided probably a shit ton of paint not being scratched. And, um, yeah, because you will see some of the paint scratching. Um, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of how this locks on. In the original figure, it probably would have not been an issue because the original version isn't painted like this. It's like just regular matte plastic. Uh, this one isn't, so that kind of sucks, but yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, we'll go into transformation. So you want to lift that, push that down. And okay, I'll show you where some scratching is. This is very minor scratching though. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. Actually, it's not. Uh, if you look there, that whole section's like fucking chipped, and that's just from this. This is like so fucking tight on here. Like, honestly, I wish this they didn't paint this part like back here. The fuck all. Um, fucking frustrating. Very frustrating. But uh, yeah. 
Um, the next, the thighs is what's f the most fucked up. I think there's a part of the hand that's kind of fucked, but not entirely fucked. So, yeah, we're going to rotate this. Uh, I thought that would lift. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, there we go. Remove the fusion cannon for now. Oh, yeah, there's a light there that just doesn't work. Um, they don't work out of the box. I did install it. I lost the screw. Uh, but everything holds together fine. I will say, though, the plastic for the fusion cannon. Uh, you know what? Just for the fusion cannon, if I'm being honest. Because uh, the gun barrel actually feels fine. Ah, fuck. Okay, yeah, the gun barrel feels fine, but um, everything else just kind of feels like like the the plastic for the black, like for this stuff, isn't the best, but it isn't the worst. It, it's the best way to describe this plastic. Um, I'm just gonna put everything together so that way I don't lose anything. Because that's honestly the last thing I want to do right now is lose shit. Um, okay. So we'll move that off to the side. And if you just want a normal Walter P38 mood, um, just apply that back on. And okay, there's already some scratch from that. It, it kind of, this version, the metallic version, will suffer for a lot of the things that a P36 does. <laughs> um, due to its level of transformation. There's some things it does similar to MP36. I find generally everything with the exception of the legs is much smoother than MP36. The whole upper area, very intuitive, very intuitive. Legs, uh, I it could have used a little bit more time. It isn't the worst transformation, which is also why I'm very like, not like, oh, this is a terrible toy. Um, for me, for a transformation, if it takes me less than an hour, I am really not going to bitch about it unless it's something like, um, unless it's something that shouldn't be complex, but they make it complex. Like Megatron, you kind of expect it to be complex, especially if he's turning into a gun. So I, I'm not really all that fussed about it. But if I got like a fucking G1 Stunticon and that thing takes me 40 minutes to transform, it should not be like that. It should not. Um, problem with a lot of third-party masterpiece and also um, stuff from uh, Has or not Hasbro Takara um, with their masterpiece line uh, stuff as of late. Um, I I'll get into a whole debate about that some other time. <laughs> the state of masterpiece. Maybe if I review a bootleg masterpiece or something, because the only way I'm going to buy a masterpiece at this current rate. But yeah. So we'll we'll actually deal with the legs first here. <laughs> we'll just kind of disconnect some stuff. Um, okay, there we go. Disconnect that. Boop boop. Disconnect the legs. So the legs are on the sliding rails. Um, that isn't the issue with this, at least in my opinion. <laughs> the issue uh, relies on this piece right here. It's sitting in a ball joint, but it's a very loose ball joint. And this thing was making my life fucking hell. <laughs> it, it honestly was. And it makes me want to buy that new age one. <laughs> just so I have a gun Megatron to transform, and then one just to look pretty. Um, which the Magic Square one does the look pretty part pretty well. I will say though, the, uh, from what I hear from reviewers and stuff, is that the magic the magic square one is just a better figure to kind of pose around and fuck around with. Uh, but yeah, and you kind of push in the leg. It, it just kind of everything just kind of accordions together more or less. And oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to retake apart the leg. That was just me being a stupid dumbass. Um, shit. Like reseparate some stuff. Okay, so you got to get this silver piece folded inside of the leg, and then we can kind of push everything back again. 
and then just turn that around and push everything in and I think everything's in yeah okay do the same thing on the other side going from robot to gun or no from gun to robot is much easier to go from robot to gun which is why I actually had this in uh, uh, fucking gun mode and no, I'm, I I don't usually do the other way back. I find that to be a, padding videos unnecessarily. So, um, that's just my take on that whole thing. Um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, why is this not? Oh wait a minute! I'm like, oh, why is this not working? And then me realizing why it's not working. Because I forgot to move multiple things. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, would, it, would that actually be necessary? Hold on, let me. Ah. Like certain clearance parts on this, I will say. Like mainly, again, it's just the feet area. I feel like I have that tiny fucking fingers. And I don't even have big fingers. Like my hands aren't like huge by any means. And it's like, fuck. And like, I also don't have like. I don't have fat fingers either. Like, my fingers are pretty normal. And that's considering, like, I'm. Okay. It's, my arm's pretty scrawny. It's. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, like, yeah. Because I'm a rather scrawny person, but. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know why I was going to that. That, uh. Oh, I guess I was just trying to make a point that the, some of the clearances are, like, fucking. Even for me, it's kind of a fucking struggle. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, that. Maybe raise that up? Uh, okay, because it's supposed to sit flush like this, but the other side is not doing that. So I'm just kind of sitting here going kind of, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> right now, as I am, uh, feel like I'm kind of bamboozled because it's not going how it should go. Um, is there... I'm like wondering if there's something blocking this or like... I... It feels like something's blocking this from like going. I don't know what the fuck it is. Okay, I think I got it over. It, okay. Let's bring that up. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. We got that. And now the easy part here, um, which is the whole body section. We'll... F okay, there's... Okay, hold on. I gotta... Gotta kind of just detach that. Uh, fold That folds out. And I think this f folds around. I I'm just. <laughs> um, that was my fault uh, that that happened. <laughs> I uh, honestly probably should have been more aware of that. Uh, but I wasn't. So, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, you just kind of open that up, that comes out. that part will come off <laughs> um, okay. so I gotta I know this piece folds in up there I think if I remember correctly I just don't know how I <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know if it even folds up all the way Because I know that this piece stays attached to. Uh, th fuck, it, the, the fucking mushroom peg actually won't go the fuck back on. Okay, let me rotate that. And then. Hold on. Ah, uh, fuck. Shit, it actually won't go in.
It's like it's too thick with the paint. Like, I honestly don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't feel like I break this fucking thing. God damn. Wait a minute. Okay. the fuck okay like okay so I got wow this thing's designed to be like I'm like trying to put this figure in its best light possible right and it's deciding to fucking like sabotage itself <laughs> like I was not having any of these issues like off camera and even like trying to like fix this thing on like like you know like that on the camera it's not wanting to go on. What the fuck? Because I don't want to push too hard. Because I don't want to break anything, but like, fuck. This is like really not wanting to go the fuck in. Okay, there we go. I think it was because I was trying to put it on like a mushroom peg, where that part I don't think is a mushroom peg. If that makes any sense. <laughs> um, don't know if it did, but uh, yeah, that was that was why that wasn't going. But uh, yeah, that was that, and I got it back on. So that's really all that matters. So, okay, so we get the hips position a certain way. Oh yeah, you rotate the thighs, rotate that back. That's what I was talking about. That's the corner that's all fucked. Um, the other corner is, oh yeah, this is also kind of fucked too on the side there. Granite though, granite though, I think this mostly, that whole leg is mostly gonna be covered up in a bit. The ball joints on the legs are really, really tight, which is good. Because uh, you don't want that loose as fuck. Um, but yeah, hold on. I gotta, you gotta rotate these because these kind of form the butt flaps for him. Uh, because the front one, I just kind of unfold that. Unfold that. And then we'll bring this up. Okay. Boop. Oh, actually, no, that does not cover that up. I, I thought it would, but it only covers up. <laughs> This side and just a little bit. Um, ah, shit. I might have to apply some paint to that. Fuck. But everywhere else is pretty good. Um, that's actually not a paint neck. That's actually a little too much paint on there. Uh, quite the opposite of a problem. But uh, yeah. So you just kind of unfold that. I actually took his hands off because it was honestly easier to transform this thing with the hands taken off. Um, you don't have to, but I just did it just so. I don't know. I don't know why exactly I did it. I just kind of fucking did it. Just went, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> and did it. Uh, you rotate this around. And then this will kind of just fold in. Kind of, sort of. Um, you just feel everything kind of go into place. And then this tabs into the hole up there. Ah, you'll feel it, like, when it goes in it. Because it'll feel secure. Um. I will say though the new age Megatron does have a much better face sculpt than the uh, Magic Square one does. Not saying the Magic Square one's awful, because it's pretty good in my opinion. Uh, it's better than most Megatron faces, but uh, I will say that's not exactly the highest of bars to hit, because most Megatron faces kind of look like Dookie Water. G1 Megatron's that being. Um, oh, maybe that kind of applies to Beast Wars Megatron too. But not, not like to his original toys with Masterpiece, but applying to that. The Legacy uh, Transmetal 2 Megatron, I think the face sculpt's very off, but that's how that is. 
I suppose. Um, okay, I gotta fold that in. Boop. And uh, I think that goes the other way. Yeah, no, yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Fold that in. We do the same thing we did on the other side. There we go. Boop, boop. Okay, the ball joint on my feet are actually looser than they were before. Because, like, I feel like they're kind of giving up on me a little here. Okay, I'm just going to kind of reposition some stuff here real quick and get the hands out. Or at least the default hands. And I'll actually just kind of throw out some of the accessories on the table here. While I'm at it. It does come with this version. The metallic version does come with water slide decals. Comes with this card. Which actually does feel pretty good quality wise. Um, but yeah. You get that cool shit. Um, hold on. Let me put this down. So we can see a little. And uh, yeah. I'll put the default hands that he comes with on. Um, and then we'll do some size comparisons with some legend stuff I have. So um, here he is next to, actually we'll do that one last. Uh, Legends Optimus Prime, or Toxitron in my case. They're pretty comparable in height. Uh, Megatron's a little Tall, or sh taller, yeah. The New Age Prime. It's not a bad scale, by any means. Um, although, hold on, let me... Does that... I'm just trying to see if lifting Megatron's feet up drastically changes anything. Height-wise. Okay, it kind of does, because if you just have them regular, they're about like the same, same height almost, but Megatron's kind of leaning. So if you put the feet up, I guess like that he's taller by like a little but like I don't mind Megatron being bigger than Optimus it's probably the reason why I got this version over the new age one because I like the boxier proportions or the bigger proportions I think Dr. Lockdown and somebody else was like oh I think this is going for more tune accurate um, and for me personally I don't think the new the magic square one is going for tune accuracy um, it's not going for toy accuracy either. Um, in my opinion, I think they're trying to go for kind of a uh, a uh, fucking Dreamwave like Megatron look. Um, very boxy, wide chested, you know, very intimidating um, look. Um, and oh yeah, here's a New Age Seeker, if I can get it to stand. Oh, the wings aren't even. That's the one thing I don't like about the New Age Seeker mold, is uh, the fucking wings, is to get them positioned right, you kind of have to finagle it. Like, no default, like, resting position, per se. Like, uh, not that kind of is, it's just down. It's the fucking shoulders. That's saying it's a bad mold. Because I, I kind of gushed about the new Age Seekers. And they're still pretty good. It's still a good mold. Ah, but yeah, there it is right next to it. I, I think it works. Honestly, you could you could fudge it in. Uh, we are going to take some other accessories out as well. I'm actually just opening the box here. Because um, he does come with even more shit. Um... Some stuff from Transformers the movie, some stuff from different episodes of the cartoon, and some alternate races, and shit like that. We'll actually go into the head sculpt, we're going to rip off the head, here is the head. I think it's a really good head sculpt in my opinion, but again I will give New Age credit, theirs does look better. That being said, doesn't take away from uh, Magic Square's job. You just remove the face, you just kind of pull underneath, and then just push forward, and it come out, comes out. So, we get an option of a, of a, uh, either the default neutral face, or, hold on, ah, shit-eating grin face. Okay, I gotta get my finger underneath there.
the eyes do pop out on mine. I don't know if that's just an issue on mine, or I don't know if that's a common issue. Um, but yeah, and then we got a. Uh, I'm gonna fucking kill you, Star Scream Head. <laughs> and uh, the other gimmick, I will actually pull him. We'll just move them aside for right now. And uh, we're gonna remove his chest piece, which is a thing you can do. He does come with a blank one, um, which you could use either for more toy accuracy sakes, or you could use it just to have the gun look like a gun. Uh, don't know who would be too. Uh, I don't know who that was really for, if it was that case. But uh, yeah, uh, it's a thing you can do. Anyways, you got a battle damage chest piece because the other face sculpt. Uh, much like the masterpiece one, is the um, the fucked up one from when he's about to shoot Prime. Uh, in addition to those accessories, for the movie accessories, <laughs> we also get Megatron's uh, fucking laser sword, and then we get Megatron's I killed Optimus Prime gun, and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a thing you can do. Um, I don't really care for these options, but uh, yeah, no, it's nice that they're at least included um, for those people who want those. I'm not really going to be displaying my Megatron like this, so for me, it, those are just parts that are just going to be in an accessories bin or something, or in the box. Um, Again, rip off that head and as you can see it's just like a peg so it only gets like side to side really you could maybe get a little bit back but I think because of Megatron's head sculpt eh, now nah, you can look up a little and look down just a wee tad but yeah I'm just gonna keep him in a neutral expression so yeah Boop. Okay, got that in. And boop. There we go. So, oh yeah, I forgot to pit his most important fucking accessory here. I don't know how I did that one. <laughs> got his fusion cannon. And yeah, no, it's... The one nice thing about it being a lighter plastic is you don't have to worry about it drooping the arm down. <laughs> so I, I, I guess th there's a method to the madness. Um there but uh hold on let me i'm gonna back away here and here is next to the uh new age devastator which is oh that's why he's refusing to stand i was gonna say i'm like this thing's being a piece of shit and then i realized oh the heels aren't out fucking debbie's heels but also the legs aren't exactly centered or no is it I don't know, sometimes this figure just likes to fall. Um, I don't really know, hold on. It's like Scrapper, I think, just doesn't want to stand properly. Or whatever. Okay, but anyways, there we go. Uh, there's that size comparison. And I guess if you want an official figure, here's that uh, Prime. So, yeah. Here's that. All that cool shit. Um, Alright. So we're gonna go back down. Oh, cables are in the way. Whoopsies. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So, we're gonna go over some of his other accessories. Uh, you get this thingy, I forget which episode it was from, but it's uh, control not remote control optimus. Again, accessory not gonna display. Key Victor Sigma, it could fit in his hand. You just gotta trust me on that one. Don't wanna scratch the paint on that, so yeah. Uh then we got this, the ball chain thing. 
the plastic on this does not feel good um mainly on the chain part and not on the uh the the ball part um shit the ball feels fine it's just the chain feels kind of weak but if you don't want to deal with that stupid bullshit oh, it's very simple attaching it but i'll show you <laughs> with the other hand uh, it did came with some magnets i'm assuming that's just for anti-tangling reasons for this but uh yeah you get this you plug it in you do actually have to like manually like screw this chain in to like that piece and then into this piece right over here which is the piece that connects to our our little ball and now you got one that's free moving and shit I like to give you that option but I personally wish to do kind of what the MP did where it was like posable even if it meant the thing was looked a little thicker looking <laughs> I would have preferred that but I do like to give you options so that's nice um of course, I'm going to be attaching it because, again, not going to be displaying it with that. Uh, you do get an option to pretty much do a uh, tiny Megatron. Uh, it doesn't work with the closed. Or this is used for bigger bots. I think this one's used for the closed uh, fists. However, for whatever reason, at least on Megatron, it doesn't like going in because it, it just feels like you're going to fucking break something. If I use another figure, for example, let me use the New Age. I, s I feel the same too. It's like not giving me a whole lot of wiggle room, as it were. And then this plastic also does not feel great. It feels like some NECA weapons, and even NECA weapons don't entirely feel that great. Um, that's how it looks in his hand. It kind of looks big, if I'm being honest. Um, if we compare it, hold up, because I keep, since I only have two new age figures at the current moment, I keep all the accessories together, um, and like a fucking Toxitron trailer, since it's big enough to do that, um, we'll compare it with the new age equivalent of it, and while it doesn't have the bottom part like that one does, the stock, um, Honestly speaking, you don't really need the stock. And I personally prefer the size of the New Age version over the Magic Square version. That said, since this is a little bit bigger than that, uh, you could use it on other figures. And it won't look as big, so... I, there's a plus to it, but... It, it does have the downs. Um, there's other hands. There's like these open hands. Which I actually do like better than the New Age ones, just because they're a little more expressive, as it were. Um, you got some pretty typical closed fists. Um, I'm going to try to get them back up. Okay, there we go. Just going to place the original hand back in place. Can I fit that? No. Oof. But yeah. Um, oh, there's one more accessory. Or two more. You got a little purple crimson. Pretty cool. Uh, then the other accessory. I didn't talk about the saw. It, it kind of attaches the same way. Don't remember if this was even in the show. So, yeah, there's that. Um, we'll go over articulation now. So, arm goes up about that far. You get a 90 elbow. Of course, you get bicep swivel. You could do it all the way around, but don't want to scratch paint, really. Uh, you get a waist. Uh, if you move the the flaps, I think you can. Okay, so hold on. If I move this down, which I think is actually how it's supposed to be, I think you might be able to get a 360. Um, hold on, let me, because like I have to move these flaps. I like again the butt flaps. Yeah, you could do a 360. Okay. So yeah, you could do a 360. You got an ab crunch. Um, like I said, the head can only turn 360. You can look down. You can look up. You can actually look down a fair bit. Huh. Uh, you got greater than 90 on a single jointed knee, which is pretty good. Um, of course, you can kick the leg forward, and then if you kind of move the butt flap, you could do that. 
and then uh, you can raise these up all the way so that way then you can do the splits um, and shit uh, but yeah and yeah that's that's kind of just the oh yeah and of course you got a wrist swivel but yeah Oh yeah, and then you got like another like a double thigh swivel because that's just again transformation for that one. Kind of odd, but uh, nice though, nice. And then you can't really tilt the ankles. Um, you can kind of tilt it, <laughs> but that's really about it. I do really love to look at the robot mode, and I actually kind of almost forgot about that piece that we lost earlier. Yeah, you just heard that box go flying down. Ah, shit, there's like, ah, you gunk on the floor. Oh, ah. I have to wash this. Not wash it, but like just grab like a wipe and just wipe this sucker down. But, uh, yeah, okay, let me, I'm just trying to get him positioned right. But, yeah, no, that's, uh, Magic Square's Megatron. Uh, no, I don't recommend this to anybody. And there's a reason. Uh, I know some people hate transformations that are just any bit complex. Doesn't matter. Um, I would say this: if you didn't like MP36 transformation, you're not gonna like this transformation. That's an easy thing, an easy way to putting it. But yeah, um, he cleans up beautifully. Um, I enjoy him, and really, at the end of the day. If you enjoy the figure, you enjoy the figure. That's that's really all that matters is that you like the figure and you're happy with it. And I like the figure and I am quite happy with it. Because for me, I leave my Transformers using in robot mode. So, like, not transforming Megatron's not going to kill me. Like, I rarely transform my Earthrise one and that was considering that one was a lot more. I don't know. That figure actually was not fun to transform, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, Earthrise one. And I place that mostly on. I kind of don't like transforming H tanks, if I'm being entirely honest. Or okay, no, I should have phrased that differently. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I don't like H tanks. Uh, or some H tanks, because like that thrilling, th not thrilling thirty generations. Fucking, uh, what's his name? Ah. Uh. Warpath, he's fun to transform. He was an H tank. Um, Armada Megatron's fun. To be fair, a lot of Armada stuff is kind of fun transforming. Um, but that's just kind of, I think, a testament to how good Armada was. Um, but yeah. Um, I was just trying to figure out which accessories go back. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, there you go. Perfect. But yeah, no, uh, some of these things are good, some aren't that good. And that that siege mode was kind of like that. It wasn't frustrating, it's just lackluster is the best word to uh, slap on that. But yeah, I do recommend this if you don't mind complicated transformations and shit like that. Because it is a fun figure to transform. Well, not fun to transform. I'm going to describe it fun, but it's not painful. And it's not dreadful either. I, I have transformed far worse figures. And something else dropped on the floor. God. Okay, I know what it is. The only piece that isn't fucking purple. Okay, where did you go, Keita Vector Sigma? Where did you go? Ah, there you go. Yeah, found it before I had to stop. Fantastic. But yeah, um, that's a look at Magic Square's Megatron. I like it. I don't don't regret the purchase. I got him pretty cheaply too. He was like, I think, 60, 70 bucks, somewhere around there for this version. I'll post the link to the eBay page in the description if you guys want one. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing more uh, Legends figures. I actually got two Magic Square and two New Age figures on their way. Um, the, uh, if you guys did see that post before I deleted it, uh, it was New Age, 
Jetfire. I'm calling it Jetfire because it's based off the Toy Deco. And then you got Magic Square Skyfire because it's animation. And then um, it was uh, a metallic version of their Shockwave, a Magic Square Shockwave. And then the, the other New Age figure I got was the Ultra Magnus. That was the Toy Deco one to be more precise. But uh, yeah. Um, anyways, Requa signing out here. You guys have a good one. Peace.